We turn now to big changes to one of the largest events in the city of Roanoke. The drumstick dash will not be taking place downtown this year. With two days left until the race, the rescue mission announced they're having to put people on a different path. They cite the reason as a shortage of police officers. Our team covering every angle of this tonight. WFXR News' Kelsey John Baptiste is live with more on an officer shortage. We'll check in with her in a bit, but first we turn to Damon Reynolds with the changes to the course. Damon, I understand the race is now taking place along the Roanoke Greenway. Well, evening, Kathleen. Yes, I'm at the new starting point on Wiley Drive uh, at Rivers Edge Park in South Roanoke. Now, I spoke with some folks earlier and they say they were caught off guard by the new changes. I'll have to Google to try to figure out where that is. Rhonda Graham plans to participate in her first drumstick dash Thursday morning. She just moved to Roanoke a few months ago. She was expecting to be running downtown. I just came up to get my shirts and I thought I was going to get a packet of the map and where I was going to be walking. And I was informed it's, there is no map and the route has been changed. Graham is a little disappointed since the race is just two days away. It's kind of shocking that I haven't got an email or a notification of some kind that the route's been changed at what noon. Mark Bryant has been a participant in the dash for years. He just found out today about the changes. I was not aware, uh, you know, we uh, just been doing this for many years, so it's just a routine that we normally do. A routine that Brian says he would have liked to have stayed the same, but he says the cause is bigger than any feelings he has. Well, we'll adjust to whatever. I mean, it's a wonderful cause for what this is all about and helping uh, contribute to the major fundraiser for the rescue mission. A mission that CEO Lee Clark of the Roanoke Rescue Mission says should stay at the forefront even with all the changes. The purpose and the meaning of this event doesn't change. If anything, it's even more important. It really emphasizes that everyone needs to come together this Thanksgiving day so that folks who are in crisis in our community have the food that they need every day throughout the year. Well, Kathleen, we have some exciting news as well. The Drumstick Dash will also have bands playing music along the course. Now, the Rescue Mission also wants those participating to watch their website for new updates such as parking, where to gather, and much more at the new location. Live and local in Roanoke, Damon Reynolds, WFXR News. Damon, thank you. If you're interested in volunteering or participating in the Drumstick Dash, just head over to our website, WFXRTV.com, to register. Let's turn now to Kelsey John Baptiste, who is live in front of the police department tonight. Kelsey, what are you learning about that officer shortage among RPD? Kathleen, Roanoke police say they were not able to, ha to meet the minimum number of required officers and supervisors to host the drumstick dash on its original route. In a statement, the department adds it reached out to neighboring jurisdictions to see if they could provide the additional staffing. However, even with the help from other localities, it still was not enough to safely host the event in the downtown area. Mayor Sherman Lee says the big issue is that people are losing interest in becoming a police officer for Roanoke City. We've lost over 87 officers in a year, either resigning or retiring, or it's basically, as I've said many times, people are not interested in being police officers as they once were. Mayor Lee says the goal now is to get people to come and join the department. Recruitment is the number one focus along with retention. Now I reached out to the Roanoke Police Department for an interview on how many officers are currently staffed. A spokeswoman declined that interview, but she did say they are confident they have enough officers to handle the drumstick dash on its new route along the Roanoke Greenway. Live and local in Roanoke, Kelsey Jean-Baptiste, WFXR News.